ambition means uh, always thinking about what's next and where I want to be and how to get there. Are you ambitious? I would say so. <laughs> why do you think you're this way? Why do I think, sorry? Yeah, why do you think you're this way? Why do you think you're ambitious? Uh, I'm always, uh, I think, for example, I always think about the next step. Uh, or even if I haven't got it figured out yet, I know that I don't necessarily want to be where I am for the rest of my life. So I always feel like I am thinking ways to improve myself and how to get to that next step. And you always remember being like that, even as a child, or can yeah, you? I've yeah, I've always been very goal oriented. Uh, so I joke about how I became an economist because I um, needed to move out of home and the fact that I lived in Auckland with my parents and they thought really highly of the Reserve Bank and that was in Wellington for me from a uh, young age my goal was to get a job at the Reserve Bank and move out of home and live in Wellington so that's kind of how I became an economist. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know other than yourself? I definitely don't think I'm the most ambitious person okay. uh, and I don't necessarily think ambition is uh, ambig unambiguously positive. Uh, I don't know, that's a hard one. I mean, at the moment maybe I feel Mei Chen has done really well for herself in terms of like being a migrant coming here like how to uh, overcome the obstacles from that and achieving well in, like, in her career, success in her career and thinking of that beyond her career, how to build a profile beyond that, yeah. Mm. Uh, but I'm sure there are others, just at, off the top of my head, I yeah. can't really think yeah. of any. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? That's a good question. I think a lot of it does stem from yourself. Uh, you have to want it for yourself. In terms of the tools to become more ambitious. I can't think of any at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure there are. <laughs> but I think largely it has to come from yourself as well. Do you have any views on how ambition is seen in New Zealand? I think New Zealanders are very conflicted in terms of what ambition is. Uh, for example, case in point, like in terms of how Auckland has developed over the past decade, we've, we're getting all the benefits from being a larger city. For example, the fact we've got H&M, Zara, all these big names coming in, so more choice for our consumers. But then at the same time, we've got all the problems that come with a city getting bigger in a very short space of time, congestion, high house prices. So whilst people are happy with more choice, these negative side effects of that, they're not as happy. So in a way they want everything. Um, so it's there's a bit of conflict there I feel, in terms of where we actually want to get to. Like we want to, for example, have higher income and do all this and we say, like we hold up for example Singapore as uh, what success looks like, but then they actually have a lot of problems that come with being a big city as well, which we don't appreciate. So there's a bit of, I do feel there's a lot of conflict there in what we actually want New Zealand to be. Do we want to move to being a bigger city with a much larger population and the more choice and the benefits that come with that, but also there will be negative side effects as well from that, or do we want to stay being a small city and satisfying 